Waterfox is built on Firefox, but with fewer trackers and more freedom. But does that make it the better version? Here's how it stacks up against other browsers. This is Battle of the Browsers, part 12. I've rated 11 browsers so far across performance, privacy, features, user experience, and how distraction-free they are to find the winner. Stay till the end to see where Waterfox lands on the leaderboard. For performance, it gets a 6.5 out of 10. It's similar to Firefox, but slower and less optimized. It works fine for everyday use, but it's not as fast as other browsers. For privacy and security, it gets a 9 out of 10. It removes Firefox's telemetry and built-in data collection, and it doesn't ping Mozilla or Google by default also supports older privacy-focused extensions. It's a really strong browser for those who want Firefox without the background tracking. For features and customization, it gets a 6.5 out of 10. It has pretty good support for both classic and modern Firefox extensions, and it's not loaded with any features by default. There's no built-in VPN, tab containers, or sidebar tools. For user experience, it gets a 7 out of 10. It is a simple, familiar layout for Firefox fans. The menus and the settings are straightforward, but a little dated. It's not flashy, but it is functional. For being distraction-free, it gets an 8 out of 10. There's no ads, there's no upsells, and there's no Mozilla newsfeed. It's clean and quiet by default. This gives it a final score of 37 out of 50. Here's where it lands on the leaderboard. Tell me what scores you would change.